Hey nerds, today we're unboxing this Marvel Legends No Way Home Green Goblin figure. That's right, Amazon shipped it out like six weeks early. I'm excited to get this figure. I feel like I've been waiting almost 20 years for this Green Goblin figure. Let's get this guy out of this box. All right, let's go. Let's get him out of here. No waiting around. Oh, oops, rip the box. Oopsies. And get rid of that. Check this out here. Nice little packaging. Opens up and there he is. All beautiful inside. Take off the plastic insert. Look at that. So easy. None of those paper bags and crap. Alright, let's get this out of here. Let's start off with checking out his glider. Look at the detail on this. Pretty nice. I'm loving the purple and the texture. I think this should be like a shinier silver kind of color. It's more of a gray. Pretty neat though. The wings open and close like this. They kind of lock in place as well. I don't know if you can tell. Look underneath here. These are all soft. Uh, let's see here. There's green in here. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's like a bright green. See right there? Same green that's right there. And then also, nice little green accents. Pretty cool little glider. Seems very sturdy, not flimsy at all. The glider also comes with a stand, so let's get this out of here and show you guys how this connects. Little hole in the bottom right there. Should just go in, let's see. It's a little bit of paint, oh there we go, nice. Very snug fit, very secure. I do like that with this stand, if you put it this way and put it all the way up, you could set it on a shelf, kind of on display where you can actually see the glider as well. The glider also comes with these foot harnesses. Let's get it out of here. Plastic is not being very friendly with us. Uh, we got these out and they should clip onto right here. You see that spot right there? Let's see. Slide this in. I wonder if there's a right and left. I think they're just the same, right? Let's see, are they the same? Yeah, basically just the same. I don't think there's a right and left. And let's see, get this one in too. And there we go, and these do swivel as well, which is kind of neat, so you can get them lined up with the feet correctly so your figure actually stays on there. And we have pegs for the feet on here as well. Let's check out his other accessories. We have the pumpkin bomb. Let's see if we can get this to focus. It is very small. Look at that. Interesting little details on there. Just a little green. Very small. I could imagine this being lost very easily, so keep track of it. Let's check out the mask next. Oh, here we go. Look at the detail on that. Nice and shiny. Those yellow eyes. Really nice looking mask. Alright, let's get Gobby out of the package now. Oh, there we go. Finally, he's free from his plastic hell. Check out the head sculpt right there. He's got his goggles on and his hoodie on to start off with. Look at the smile though. So nice. The gap in the teeth. All of it's awesome. Oh look just look at this. Look at it! I don't even know what to say. It's just so cool. So we got the little bag right there. Could have put some more detail on this for like a, I don't know, for a deluxe figure like it's supposed to be. A little more detail on the belt would have been kind of cool. But the rest of them looking really good. I'm liking the way it looks. These right here are very soft and bendy. Like, like you can see how they're kind of already kind of getting bent out of shape. Which, I mean, that kind of sucks. But that shouldn't be too bad. Look at that on that side. Again, with the plastic gray, they could have done a little bit more of a like a silver color so it's shiny. Let's remove the head sculpt and see how this works. All right, so we have the barbell joint, which is honestly some of the worst joints on the next that they make. But anyways, let's get the head out of the hoodie so you can take a better look at it. If it's gonna come out, come on. Okay, so here's the head sculpt. Check this out, the glasses. Actually wrap all the way around this down. That's pretty neat. I thought they were just gonna kinda like go over his ears or some weird way to stay on, but that's actually way better. Let's see if we can just get it off real quick. Okay, that was easy. And check out the head sculpt right here. Nice goblin head sculpt. That looks really awesome. Look at that, the detail in the hair, all of it. That's such a good head sculpt. Let's pop the goblin mask on the torso and see how that looks. Ooh, that looks really nice. Look at that. Ooh, that is awesome. The only issue we're having here is that the neck is not green as well. But uh, I think we can live with that for the meantime. That head sculpt, the goblin head sculpt, man. Whew, so nice. That looks awesome. Let's check out Green Goblin's articulation now, starting with the feet. They point down that far, they point up that far. We have an ankle rocker in there. We have double jointed knees, check that out. Nice bend right there. We have the thigh cut, rotates very nicely. We have the hip that kicks forward that far, and out that far. And then we do actually have drop down hips on this guy. Check it out, it comes down, see that? And then gets a little bit more articulation out of it. Look at that, that's perfect. Loving that they did that. Now unfortunately, we have no waist articulation on this figure at all. Nothing! All we have is this chest pad right here. 
Let's see, he bends forward that far, bends back that far. Not a whole like ton of articulation there. It does spin left and right pretty nice and easy. The belt though, this whole like chest strap thing, it's kind of annoying. It does move around a little bit as you kind of move them. But um, it's not horrible, but I can see this getting stretched out and too bad you can't just take it off. But uh, you probably cut it off if you're one of those kind of people that wants to do that, but I'm not doing that. The shoulders go all the way around, they come out this far. They actually kind of feel a little loose in there, almost like a Build-A-Figure, how it doesn't fit exactly snug. But it, it seems to rotate very easily, but it is loose, which kind of is shocking to me. We have a bicep cut, we have double jointed elbows, these joints are actually kind of a little stiff, there we go. And then we have your standard wrist articulation as well. Flimsy old knives, things or whatever, kind of in the way, but yes, we do have it there. Look at it, they're super flimsy. I do not like that at all. The head turns left and right very easily. He looks down about that far and up about that far. It's not a lot. You got this lean left and right though for some like creepy poses, which is nice. And again, this is the barbell joint, and these ones just very, very bad for articulation, at least the way Marvel Legends does it. So there you go, nerds. That's the Marvel Legends No Way Home Green Goblin figure. Let me know what you think in the comments.